Ah, pasta. Those store-bought, packaged versions sure are cheap, versatile, and super convenient, aren't they? It's no wonder that global pasta consumption has more than doubled over the past 20 years. But you may already know the bad news. Most pastas, made from refined white flour, are high in carbs, low in fiber, and can cause dangerous blood sugar spikes. Well, if you love pasta and other noodles, don't worry. There are several surprisingly healthy and delicious pasta and noodle alternatives which are low in carbohydrates, higher in fiber, and won't wreck your glucose levels. That's why we're about to reveal the top 10 healthy and delicious choices for the best pasta and noodle alternatives. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And stick around because we've got two free gifts coming your way. Right now, it's time to get into the top 10 low carb pasta and noodle alternatives for blood sugar balance. Number 10 kelp noodles, aka seaweed pasta. Believe it or not, kelp is not a plant. It's actually a heterocont, brown marine algae which thrives in underwater forests. In ideal conditions, it grows as much as 18 inches in a single day. This remarkable seaweed-like food registers low on the glycemic index, and it makes for a perfect gluten-free noodle alternative containing over 70 vitamins, minerals, and digestive enzymes. Kelp is low in calories, low in carbohydrates, and contains some interesting nutrients. In fact, kelp is an excellent source of iodine. This mineral, in moderate amounts, may support a range of health benefits, including improved metabolism, lessened inflammation, better thyroid functionality, and improved heart health. You can choose between green and clear kelp noodles. The green variety tastes like, well, seaweed, and is less popular. The clear noodle is blander, like real pasta, though a tad crunchy. One four ounce serving of kelp noodles contains just six calories, 1.3 grams of carbs, 0.2 grams of dietary fiber, 0.1 grams of fat, and 0.2 grams of protein. This makes kelp noodles an excellent low-carb, low-cal pasta alternative. Number 9. Soba Noodles Soba means buckwheat in Japanese, and it's these noodles' only solid ingredient. Soba is actually a grain-like, gluten-free seed. And yes, the thin soba noodles are pretty high in carbs at 27 grams per cup. However, they also contain 1 gram of fiber as well as 6 grams of protein and they'll supply just 113 calories. Plus, sopa noodles are an excellent source for the nutrient manganese, giving you about 25% of your daily requirement. Manganese aids nervous system health and has been shown to lower the risk of diabetes. Soba noodles also contain other valuable nutrients like potassium, phosphorus, zinc, magnesium, iron, and the metabolism-boosting vitamin B1, aka thiamine. It's been reported that a thiamine deficiency can lead to heart health issues and an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, as both cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's are on a continuum with diabetes, soba noodles can be a wonderful anti-diabetes noodle option. Soba noodles share a similar texture to spaghetti, but with a slightly nutty taste, less carb content, and more diabetes-fighting nutrients. So try out this pasta replacement. Number 8. Black Bean Pasta Noodles That's right, you can make noodles from beans now. This incredible spaghetti substitute is a low-fat, high-fiber food, and its natural fiber content helps slow down digestion and keeps you fuller for longer. Research has shown that black bean pasta has the ability to lower blood sugar levels after meals. High in vitamin C, they've also been shown to aid eye health, which is a plus for diabetics. And black beans are also known for their ability to lower bad cholesterol thus reducing your risk for heart disease. A serving of black bean pasta contains about 200 calories, and it's got a winning combination of lean protein, soluble fiber, and complex carbohydrate. 
Yes, that's a decent amount of carbohydrates, but it still has a respectable carb to fiber ratio. This means that your body can properly and slowly digest those carbs, and you'll avoid a blood sugar spike. Plus, pairing your black bean noodles with other lean protein, like chicken or fish, can work together to lower your post-meal glucose levels. Number 7. Eggplant Lasagna Eggplant originated in India, where they call it the king of all vegetables. Oddly enough, eggplant is technically a berry. But however you classify this purple wonder, eggplant is low glycemic, low calorie, low starch, low carb, and high in fiber, making it a perfect choice if you have diabetes or prediabetes. This versatile plant packs a serious nutritional punch, and it houses the powerful vitamins C, K, B1, B3, B6, and B9. One serving of cooked eggplant contains 35 calories, 8.6 grams of carbs, 2.5 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of protein. That's an excellent carb to fiber ratio, so your body won't have to worry about any blood sugar spikes with this noodle replacement. But how do you create a lasagna alternative pasta out of eggplant anyway? It's surprisingly easy. Start by cutting the eggplant into long, thin slices. Brush both sides of each strip with a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. Then simply roast them until they reach a golden color. Congratulations! You now have delicious, nutritious eggplant slices to make your mouth watering lasagna. Number 6. Carrot Spaghetti No, this isn't a joke. Seriously, you can create amazing orange spaghetti noodles from home with just a few carrots. Despite its sweet flavor, the humble carrot is a non-starchy vegetable. Raw carrots have a low GI score of 16, and cooked, their GI is about 49. Carrots are an excellent source of beta-carotene, the antioxidant which gives them their orange hue. Carrots also contain dietary fiber, potassium, and vitamins A and K. Studies link the nutrients in carrots to several potential health benefits, including glucose control, bone health, better immune function, and lower blood pressure. Not bad, considering a carrot is 88% water. This also means it will give your body extra water content, which can help make you fuller faster. A medium-sized raw carrot has 41 calories, 0.9 grams of protein, 9.6 grams of carbs, and 2.8 grams of fiber. To create carrot pasta, simply spiralize your carrots, or even just peel them to create the distinct noodle cuts. Next, saute your carrot noodles in a little olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and serve. Numbers 5 to 1 are coming up, so stay tuned. But it's time to take just a moment to get you your two free gifts. Discover more delicious and nutritious diabetes-fighting foods within our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics, and learn exclusive insights from leading medical and nutritional professionals in episode one of that diabetes documentary. Both gifts are free and waiting for you right now. Just click the link in the description below. Now, back to the list. Number five, spaghetti squash pasta. Spaghetti squash, also called noodle squash, is a fantastic, easy-to-make pasta substitute. Squash is a vibrant winter pumpkin vegetable with an elongated oblong shape, and its inner meat can perfectly mimic wheat pasta. But unlike wheat pasta, spaghetti squash is low glycemic index. So that's great news for people with diabetes and prediabetes. One cup of cooked spaghetti squash provides your body with 42 calories, 10 grams of carbs, 2.2 grams of fiber, 0.5 grams of fat, and 1 gram of protein. The colorful spaghetti squash also supplies plenty of nutrients, like beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin B6, manganese, potassium, folate, and calcium. To prepare spaghetti squash, start by cutting the squash into two halves lengthways. Next, Scoop out all those seeds from the middle. Now drizzle both halves with olive oil, then season with salt. Place the squash cut side down onto a baking sheet and roast in your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 45 minutes. Once cooked, scrape out the spaghetti-like strands. And now you've got amazing low-carb plant-based noodles at the ready. Number four, zucchini linguine. 
affectionately named Zoodles. Zucchini linguine is a creative way to replace those higher carb wheat pasta noodles. This summer squash has a low glycemic index of just 15. Plus, it's basically 95% water. One cup of Zoodles is only 20 calories, and it supplies 1.4 grams of protein. And it's got just 3.7 grams of total carbohydrate, with 1.2 grams of dietary fiber. That's an excellent carb to fiber ratio, so these noodles can help keep your blood sugar balanced. Plus, zucchini is loaded with nutrients, including vitamins A, B6, C, and K. Other nutrients include manganese, folate, copper, magnesium, and phosphorus. One cup of zoodles will also supply over 300 milligrams of potassium, which is about 10% of your daily requirement. To make your own zoodles, all you need is a spiralizer or a mandolin slicer. And like carrot noodles, you can just peel your zucchini as well. But because they are loaded with water, it's best to dry your zoodles with paper towels before cooking. Simply saute your zoodles on medium heat, and from there, you can add your favorite sauce. Number three, cabbage noodles. Here's another low-carb, low-cal veggie noodle and its glycemic index is just 10. Cabbage is also a non-starchy, high-fiber veggie, making it a diabetes-friendly food that can help keep your blood sugar levels in check. These noodles are simply strips of cabbage, which can be lightly sauteed or boiled for just two minutes. And they're an excellent source of nutrition, boasting around 25 vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin K, potassium, folate, and manganese. And with only seven grams of carbohydrates per cup, with nearly three grams of fiber and almost two grams of protein, this is yet another excellent noodle option that won't spike your blood sugar. Plus, a cup of these noodles only contains about 80 calories. Cabbage can be a wonderful veggie to supply a long list of benefits, including improved gut health, improved heart health, and cancer risk reduction. So feel free to use cabbage strips as your next pasta option. You can also use cabbage leaves as an alternative to lasagna sheets. Number two, onion noodles. That's right, they make noodles from onions now. Who'd have thunk it? A medium-sized onion can contain about 10 grams of carbohydrate. However, though onions are not exactly low carb, they also contain about two grams of dietary fiber. So onions still rank low on the glycemic index. And at the end of the day, we tend to only eat small amounts of this big flavor veggie. After all, one onion is usually all you need when you make a meal for the whole family. Meanwhile, a medium onion only contains about 45 calories and is loaded with potassium, vitamin C, B vitamins, and folate. A 2010 study found that eating 100 grams of fresh red onion can reduce fasting blood sugar. And scientists now believe regular consumption of this vegetable can have beneficial hypoglycemic effects for both type 1 and type 2 diabetics. This seems due to antioxidant flavonoids, like quercetin and sulfur compounds, found within onions. Did you know that sulfur is the third most abundant element in the human body? These anti-inflammatory compounds help your body metabolize food and can protect against cancerous oxidative damage. Other studies have revealed that regularly eating onions can lead to improved heart health, a reduction in bad cholesterol, and lower blood pressure. Therefore, onions can make for just about the perfect anti-diabetes pasta base. But how exactly do you make onion noodles? Simply peel an onion and cut it into quarter-inch slices. Separate the slices and lay them onto a roasting pan. Drizzle the slices with a small amount of extra virgin olive oil, plus some salt and pepper, and roast the onion slices for about 30 minutes or until slightly brown. Now you've got a wonderful veggie-based noodle option, which can keep your blood sugar balanced and add a ton of nutrition to your meal. All right, are you ready for our number one low-carb pasta? Prepare for a miracle, because here comes number one, shirataki miracle noodles. Japanese chefs have been making shirataki noodles from the tubers of konjac plants for generations. But it was actually the Chinese who introduced the konjac plant to Japan over 2,000 years ago as a traditional medicine. 
So why has shirataki earned the nickname Miracle Noodles? Well, when you can create a serving of noodles which only contains 20 calories, 0 grams of fat, 0 grams of sugar, plus 6 grams of carbs, but also 6 grams of fiber, this pasta won't affect your blood sugar or your weight. And that sure sounds like quite the miracle. Shirataki noodles are made from a soluble dietary fiber called glucomanin. As soluble fiber dissolves in your gut, it creates a gel-like substance, and that gel helps to slow digestion. Noodles made from glucomanin are basically 3% fiber and 97% water. So, while this pasta alternative won't supply any significant nutrients, these noodles will keep you hydrated and help you feel fuller for longer. Studies show other health benefits of glucomanin include the ability to aid with weight loss, lower blood sugar levels, and lessen insulin resistance in people with diabetes. So in the end, shirataki noodles are cholesterol-free, fat-free, sugar-free, low-sodium, low-calorie, and low-carb. And yes, you can basically eat as much as you like without gaining weight. Cooking them is incredibly easy, and you can find shirataki already in noodle form at most organic grocery stores and even in many supermarkets. So, for your next pasta night, skip those sugar-spiking traditional noodles and create a miracle meal with shirataki noodles. Well, this concludes our top 10 low-carb pasta and noodle alternatives for blood sugar balance. Don't forget to claim your two free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. Oh, and remember to like this vid, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. We're Diabetes Smarts, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help fight obesity and better manage diabetes. Thanks for watching. We sure hope you're having a happy and healthy day.